Good morning everyone. Our topic today is related commissioning testing. By the way, my name is Randy Cristo. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So this is testing for the transformer. Measuring a voltage ratio, vector group, and phase displacement. So what is the measuring voltage ratio and phase displacement? You can see here, this is our transformer side. Okay. You can see there, this is your connection, wherein you are going for termination. And this is your instrument device to do the testing. So this is the wire, how you wire your cable to attach in our transformer and you get the result of your testing. Okay? Then, circuit of the voltage ratio measurement. So this is the example, guys, of measuring voltage ratio from vector group and tapping and connection calculated based on the percentage. And we're using the IEC. So measuring voltage ratio, check displacement. This is ratio for dyne 11. This is our vector group. This is top position, declare ratio. And this is one, you can see here, 1, 9, and 21. You can see in my last slide, based on this information. So declared ratio, you can see here, this different by phase 1, phase 2, phase 3, and then average and deviations of the declared ratio. So the, this requirement is under IEC 676, principal toppings, plus and minus 0.5% declared ratio, Okay, this is the principal tapping, whichever is smaller. So, result, the measured average voltage ratio and the principal tapping are within that tolerance. So, what is the measurement voltage ratio and check of phase displacement? As per IEC 676, vector group and phase displacement is also checked automatically via voltmeter methods. This is the voltage ratio is defined the ratio of no load voltage between HP winding and LB winding. The purpose of the measurement is to verify no load voltage ratio specified by the specification to detect there is a problem with the coils of tapping connections. Measurements are carried out on all taps of all phases. Okay? So remember that vector groups is also checked automatically via voltmeter method by this equipment. So acceptance criteria. The deviation of tolerance of principal topping, extreme topping is defined as the lower of following values 0.5% and 1 over 10 of the actual percentage impedance of the principal topping and relevant as per IEC 676 table 1. Other topping tolerance is 0.5% and the design value of turn ratio. Okay, so we'll see the example here. System power, for example, 1000 MB system, voltage of 33 kV. So top position, as I mentioned earlier in the, in the slide. So one maximum, nine nominal to 21 minutes. So top voltage is 36 to 30 kV, 30, 33, 28, and 0.5. So impedance voltage, 15, 58%, 14, 60. As you can see, this all informations are here. Resistance, 75%, 0 0.54, 0 0.5, and 56. And here you can see the table based on the top, pos top position, one maximum. And then another table is here. You can see only the informations. And there's another top positions. This is for top changing position, okay? So you can see here all the informations based on this, our 33 KB, so 1,000 MBA. And then what is the test equipment to be used? Ritec by for ratio check. This is our Ritec device or test equipment. Okay, guys, and thank you very much, and have a nice day. Enjoy. Thank you for your watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you.